Right, here today on Hadrian's Wall at uh, turret number 52A at Banks. And uh, Hadrian's Wall runs alongside me, you can see, and behind me is the east. Uh, this tower is uh, interesting in many ways. There's many features that are very interesting to, uh, to look at. Although what we can see today is in stone, when the wall was first built on this section, it was made of turf and timber, possibly to speed up construction at this end of the wall. But this section of wall has survived quite nicely. You can see it's uh, the Roman narrow gauge, which is uh, eight Roman feet. Water ingress was always a problem, uh, blocking, so a culvert has been put across the wall from north to south. A real feature of uh, stone turrets along this section of Hadrian's Wall is this uh, strange uh, plinth here where the, uh, the turret steps in. The turf section of Hadrian's Wall ran from Harrow Scar all the way to Bonus on Solway. It probably stood around 4 metres high or 12 feet. It's very possible a wooden palisade ran along the top. You can also see the join here where the stone wall, uh, late in Hadrian's reign probably, was uh, was built replacing the turf section. The turret was already standing, of course, um, from AD 122, roughly. And you can just see how the stone wall, built later, butts up against the turret. There's this lovely section just here that shows that. So what happens is, is the, uh, the wall walk, which would have run through the turret on the top of Hadrian's Wall, would have needed to have been set back when the stone wall was built, hence the fact that we have this um, stepped in area here. So, uh, so the stone wall could still match up with the turf wall walk when, uh, when rebuilding was done. And this is a unique feature you see on uh, this particular sort of uh, turret on the uh, old turf wall section in the west. This illustration, courtesy of English Heritage, shows how the stone turret would have been incorporated into the turf wall. Although the view is from the south, you can still see the small plinth at the bottom of the tower. The top of the tower has been illustrated as pure conjecture. We don't actually have any evidence for what the top of the tower looks like. It may have been built in timber, as has been seen on illustrations on Trajan's column. On the lower floor, you can just see the eastern entranceway into the turret. In this overhead shot, you can see how Hadrian's wall is set slightly back from the north wall of the turret. This was to enable the wall walk to enter the upper storey doorway. 